Hey there folks, it's Elliot, and today we're diving into a topic that's been causing quite a headache for many iPhone, iPad, and Apple Watch users, the iCloud activation lock, or as some call it, the iPhone lock to owner message. Now I get it, it can be pretty frustrating, but before you go down the rabbit hole of wondering, can Dr. Phone unlock my iPhone without the passcode? Hold on just a sec. You see, there are indeed services, software, and methods out there that claim to do the trick. And yes, some of them might work, but here's the deal. They can be risky, sketchy, and sometimes just not worth your time and money. Plus, who wants to mess around with something uncertain, right? But fret not, my friends, because I've got something way better, safer, and absolutely free up my sleeve. Stick around in this video and I'll show you some legitimate and guaranteed methods to remove that iCloud activation lock in a jiffy. No need to gamble with your precious device or your hard-earned cash. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. Quick heads up before we continue. I'm here to help those who own their gadgets but forgot their login details. No funny business or illegal stuff here. Let's keep it clean and stick to YouTube's rules. Awesome, let's dive back in. So, you've got your iPhone and it's stuck on that lock to owner screen. Happens to the best of us, seriously. Maybe you've been through the ringer trying to remember your login, or you've been gifted a device from someone who's forgotten theirs. No sweat, we've got some tools that can make things a lot smoother. Now, you might have heard of Safe Unlocks. It's this cool web app that uses some smart AI to help you out. It's pretty straightforward, and a lot of people find it super useful for these situations. Then there's a lock to owner, another option that's got a solid track record with this kind of thing. And if you're looking for something a bit more, let's say mobile friendly, there's the iUnlock app. It's designed to be used right from your phone, which is pretty handy. Last but not least, we've got Unlock Here's AI powered unlocking web app. It's like having a little tech genius in your corner. All of these services are about giving you a fair shot at getting back into your device. They're not miracle workers, but they're the next best thing for when you're in a jam. In a bit, I'll show you how to navigate one of these services, specifically Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. It's a pretty neat tool, and I'll walk you through how it can potentially sort out your locked device. Stay tuned. Just so you're aware, these unlocking services tend to work best in first world countries. If you're not able to access them, or you'd rather not use the services directly, don't worry, you've still got a shot at unlocking your device. Every week, we offer 250 unlocks for our viewers. Here's what you need to do to get in on that action. Simply like this video, hit subscribe, and drop a comment below with your device model, like iPhone 8, your IMEI number, and the country you're in. That's it. Once you've done these steps, you're in the running. Good luck. All right, let's uh, walk through how to unlock your iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch using unlockhere.com. This site's got an AI assistant called Nifty that's there to guide you through the whole process. First up, jump onto the website using either your phone or computer. Once you're there, Nifty is going to pop up and ask how it can help. You'll want to let it know you're looking to get an iCloud unlock done by clicking on Activation Lock. Then you'll pick your device type. That's going to be an iPhone for most of you. But if you're rocking an iPad or Apple Watch, you'll choose accordingly. Now the next step is crucial. You need to enter your device's IMEI or serial number. Here's how you figure out which one you need. If you've got an iPhone, you're going to use the IMEI. iPads and Apple Watches might have an IMEI too if they can connect to cellular networks. If not, you'll use the serial number. To find this info, go to your lock device and hit the sleep button on your device. Wake it up again and tap the little I on the bottom right. That's where your device info will pop up. With that device info, input that here to proceed with the unlock. Once you've got the IMEI or serial number, fill in some basic personal details. Make sure this info is the real deal because you'll receive a confirmation code in your email that you'll need to confirm to move forward. After you fill in your info, agree to the terms and confirm that you're not trying to unlock a stolen device. Before you continue, don't forget to click I'm not a robot and complete the quick CAPTCHA. After that, click start process. And just like that, you're on your way. Keep an eye on your email inbox for that confirmation code. Sometimes it sneaks into the spam or junk folder, so don't miss that. Once you've received the code, grab that code, enter it back on unlock here. Then shortly after, prove that you're not a robot and make sure to tap the button to validate the information. And just like that, the unlocking magic begins. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. 
you will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. If you're looking to remove that lock and you've got the original invoice for your device, getting in touch with Apple support could be a solid move. Here's the deal. The invoice is proof that you're the legit owner. So what you do is give Apple support a shout, either through their website or by giving them a call. Tell them you've got an activation lock issue. They'll probably ask you for some details like your device's serial number and your info. Then show them that invoice. If everything checks out, they can help you get that lock off. Now, if you don't have the invoice, another route you can take is resetting your Apple ID. You'll wanna head over to Apple's website for this one. Look for the forgot Apple ID or password link on the sign-in page. You'll go through some steps to verify your identity. It might involve answering security questions or receiving a code on a trusted device or phone number linked to your Apple ID. Once you verify that you are who you say you are, you'll have the option to reset your password. After resetting it, you can then use your new credentials to unlock your device. And remember, these steps are for legitimate reasons only. Like when you've got your own device but just can't get in. All right, so for those who have access to a Windows computer, iCloud Unlock software could be another solution to consider. This type of software can interact with your device to help bypass the iCloud activation lock. But here's a word of caution. There are a bunch of options out there, and honestly, not all of them are going to do the trick. Some might say they can unlock your device, but they fall short. Plus, when you're downloading things from the internet, there's always the risk of stumbling upon malware. That's the last thing you need. That's why opting for an online service like Unlock Here or Safe Unlocks can be a smarter choice. These services operate online which means you're not actually downloading anything onto your computer. This cuts down on the risk of infecting your system with something nasty. You simply visit their website and follow the instructions to unlock your device, which is not only safer, but usually pretty straightforward. Remember when dealing with any kind of unlock software or service, you wanna be sure you're using trusted sources. In this method, you'll need a helping hand. If the seller of your iPhone is willing to help out, you've got a good shot at unlocking your device from their iCloud account. Here's a straightforward approach they can take. The original owner should head over to iCloud.com on their web browser and sign in with their Apple ID. Once they're in, there's an option labeled Find iPhone. They'll need to click on that. It'll show them all the devices they have linked to their iCloud account. They'll need to find and select the specific device that's locked. That's the one you've got. Once they select it, there's an option to erase the device. They should go ahead and click that. What this does is it wipes your device clean, which is part of the process to free it up. The last step is super important. They must click on remove from account after erasing it. This makes sure that the iPhone is no longer tethered to their iCloud account. Once that's done, your iPhone should be free from the previous owner's account and you can set it up as your own. This method hinges on the cooperation of the person who sold you the iPhone, but when they're on board, it's a pretty solid solution. That's all for today. Thanks for sticking with us till the end. We hope you got what you need 